Hi, I'm John Storms, and uh, today I'm going to give you an update on the uh, the assembly of our uh, distributed Falcon Pixel controller network for the big change that's coming up this year for our display. Uh, but before we get into it, please uh, subscribe to the channel and give the uh, the video a like. That helps other people find it. Thanks. So we have gotten the boards uh, all mounted to power supplies and hooked up to the DC power. So. This is the, the F48 board, and uh, we have that on a uh, backer plate. This one is from actually the same place I bought the controllers from, pixelcontrollerllc.com, which is, uh, you know, Falcon Christmas by um, David Pitts. This F48, really excited to play with it. Of course, these are the Ethernet ports. Then these are the ports that connect it to the smart receivers. This is a smart receiver that's an SRX1. This is a smart receiver that's an SRX2, and it connects to these, obviously. The SRX1 has four outputs for pixels. The SRX2 has eight, and of course they're all fused. And then the board itself, the F48 itself, has four pixel outputs, and of course they're fused as well. So, super exciting. Um, each of the boards, what I did is yeah, using my Bamboo X1 3D printer, right? We printed up these brackets, right? That's why I printed in two colors, you know, fancy. Uh, actually, I ran out of green. I had switched to red. But um, it prints out these brackets, which mount perfectly on a Meanwell LRS 35012. But uh, they are from uh, Doug over at Inspire Light Shows. You can buy the STL file for around three or four bucks and then you can print out as many as you want with your own 3d printer right so they mount just perfectly right on top of the uh, mean well leaves a little bit of gap in there for airflow right you can see there's a fan hole right there and there are vents up here and so you just screw that into the side of the mean well and then the falcon boards screw right into that so it has these little dowels that uh, you know some spacers between the uh, the frame and the board and then those are number six bolts machine bolts uh, 32 count threads half inch long Ooh, I still have one of the old screws on there oh well, I missed one anyway it fits fine um, but yeah they screw in there just fine and then I also have a distro board with these guys so I can pair them up and this is simply just to distribute power and then each one of these connects back to the power supply. So over here I have V plus and on the V plus lines, I have inline fuses, which provides me just a little bit of extra overkill protection. And then the black wires go back to V minus. Okay. Now it's really cool about that. And then this of course is the SRX one which is a little bit bigger, so it's on there all by itself, and it's the same deal, right? V plus is wired up to an inline fuse, and then V minus is a black wire. Now here's the really cool thing, and all of these uh, STL files came from Doug Chris, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to get a 3D printer, was just for this job. So now we have this bracket, right? So this is the bottom bracket to a 30 caliber ammo box which is super cheap from Harbor Freight. And I got a whole box full of them. See, and so this bracket, this bracket here, goes into the bottom of the ammo case. And then this bracket sits on top. Just like that, see? And it gives it a nice snug fit. You drill a couple holes and then you have your cables pop up. So what I do is I take these guys, you see this U-shape, it fits right into there, even has little divots for the bolts. Okay, so I grab this guy here, see, and then he drops in to this thing, just, just like that, see, nice snug fit, and then this, it's hard to do one-handed. Sits on top, just like that in the ammo case, and it keeps it all nice and snug, and it doesn't wiggle at all. So I take this guy, the 
like that there. Oops, I got it backwards. See, slide him in. Just drop him in nice and neat. Like that. And then this guy sits on top. And see that? I get a really nice, and I'll have to drill a couple holes to get the cables out. But look at that. Gives me a nice, secure, it's really compact, right? It's about half the size of what I've been doing. And it's nice and compact when I pick this up and wiggle around. There is no wiggle in there at all. Nothing is rattling around. So it's a nice, tight solution. It's a lot of fun. And they're easy to pick up. They'll be easy to store, and I'll be able to store a lot more of uh, these power distribution boxes. Now, this one is actually not just power distribution, but it's also um, the smart receiver box. So I'll put this out in the part of the yard that's going to be powering it. And, of course, this color, nobody nobody will see it at all. So, anyway, that's what we're working on. We're not done. Obviously, we've got to drill holes in this. And we got some plan to do to um, get the receiver boards all configured. But... We got a bunch of pistols showing up today today that uh, need to be tested uh, so i'm sure we'll have plenty of opportunities to hook these up and uh, show how the smart receivers are configured and how they work all right but that's it for today bye don't forget subscribe to the channel like the video helps a lot thank you